Now let's see types of companies. A company can be a private company or a public company. Let's see first about private company. A company is called private company in which there is restriction on transfer of its shares. It has minimum 2 and maximum 200 members and private company cannot invite public to subscribe its securities or shares. And it is necessary for a private company to use the word private limited after its name like Arthi Industries Private Limited. Next is public company. It means a company which is not a private company is called public company in which minimum 7 members are required and no limit for maximum members. And there is no restriction on transfer of securities it can be easily transferred to others next is a public company can invite public to subscribe their shares by issuing of prospectus but remember a private company which is a subsidiary company of a public company is also treated as public company Now last type of company is one person company this type of company is also seen in UK USA and Australia in India it was introduced in 2013 where many changes take place it means a company with only one person as its member so they have nothing to subscribe and that's why it has only one shareholder also Now let's compare public company with private company on the basis of members public company required minimum 7 members and maximum no limit is there in case of private company minimum 2 members are required and maximum limit is 200 members in the case of minimum number of directors public company required 3 directors and private company required 2 directors In the case of index of members it is compulsory to maintain index of members in public company but it is not compulsory for private company In the case of transfer of shares yes there is no restriction in public company on transfer of shares but in case of public private company there is a restriction on transfer of shares Last one is invitation to public to subscribe its shares. Yes, public company can invite public to subscribe its shares or debentures, but in private company, a private company cannot invite the public to subscribe its securities or shares.